Hey guys, Jessica here with Home Sweet Farmhouse and in today's video we are doing some bathroom cleaning motivation. So it is getting to be that time of the year where everybody just starts cleaning and decluttering everything and I am right there with you. I hate cleaning the bathroom. Like, I don't know what it is about the bathroom. I hate cleaning the bathroom almost as much as Kim hates me recording videos. <laughs> you can hear her in the background. but. It has to get done. So in this video, we're gonna deep clean my bathroom and I'm gonna be helping provide you a little bit of motivation to go along with it so that you get in the mood and can get your bathroom cleaned as well. I know it helps me a lot. I, I will either watch a whole bunch of YouTube videos with cleaning motivation before I get started, sometimes during my cleaning, but I also really love listening to podcasts while I clean. I think it's a really good way to get two things done at the same time. So you're listening to your favorite podcast or maybe some educational podcast and you're getting your house clean at the same time. So that's actually the first motivational tip. Really quickly guys, I do hope you like this video and if you do, go ahead and give it a thumbs up right down there. And also if you look over there at that subscribe button and it is red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray. When that happens, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. So as you can see, my bathroom was a hot mess. I really, I mean, you know, I spot clean here and there, but really my bathroom needed a deep clean. And you know, it really only took me about an hour to really deep clean everything in my bathroom. So even though it seems like this really daunting task, know that it can go really quickly. It really doesn't take that long once you actually get started to get it all done. And if you're listening to a podcast or videos in the background, then it can go, it seems like it goes even faster. So I would definitely recommend doing that as well. So for me, I started with the floor and then I moved on to our sink vanity area. So the floor wasn't that bad because I actually cleaned the floor fairly regularly, but I did pick up all of the mats and all of our towels and throw them into the laundry so that they could all get washed. And I not only swept the floor, I vacuumed it where I needed to vacuum, and then I mopped it and I just use a really simple solution of white vinegar and a little bit of rubbing alcohol and water to mop the floors. When it comes to cleaning the rest of the bathroom, for the most part, I just use my all-purpose cleaner that I make. I will link in the description below a video where I, it's actually on my other channel, where I show you how to make my all-purpose cleaner and I give you all of the reasons why you should be using a homemade cleaner versus a store-bought cleaner because there are so many chemicals and we really don't want all of these chemicals in our home. But I'm also gonna give you the recipe right here in this video just really quickly and I'll show you here. This is what I use. So it is, I take a gallon jug of water, I use eight ounces of Dr. Bronner's Baby Unscented Pure Castile Liquid Soap, 30 drops of Shackley's Basic H2 Organic Super Cleaning Concentrate, and I keep all of my recipes like on little note cards like this and just have them in the drawer in my kitchen so it's easy to access. I don't have to memorize any of these things. And then I fill the rest of the gallon of wa gallon water bottle with filtered water and you just rock it gently back and forth. You don't have to like vigorously shake it. You just rock it back and forth to mix everything together. And then I don't actually use that gallon bottle to spray from. I will, I have my spray bottle, which you see in the video here that I'm using in the bathroom. And then I will almost fill the spray bottle up and then I add my essential oils. Now I only use veterinary grade essential oils because I do have pets in the home. And I want to make sure that anything that I use in the house, which you know is exactly why I'm not bringing chemicals into the house, anything I use in the house, I I want to know that it is safe for my pets to be around. So I only use veterinary grade essential oils, which again linked in the description is the video I made all about why you want to use a homemade cleaner with a veterinary grade essential oils and the essential oil I use, I use is from Animalio. It's called Citrus Clean so it has a really really wonderful citrus smell to it. It doesn't smell bad at all like a lot of chemical cleaners do. It smells really wonderful and it's all natural. So once I get my vanity done I actually do my the sink area and I do half of it at one time and half of it at the other time just because I don't have a ton of room 
we don't even have to like I don't have a medicine cabinet on my side so there's not a whole lot of storage there's not a whole lot of spots for me to put my stuff so I do one side at a time and then I clean all of the glass as well and I clean the glass with a homemade cleaner as well and that one is actually really super easy to make I'll put it right here there we go so all you use is a cup of water, a quarter cup of white vinegar, a quarter cup of rubbing alcohol, and one tablespoon of cornstarch. And that's actually what makes it work. That's what makes it streak free is the cornstarch. So as you can see, I'm going over all of the mirrors and I have to clean the mirror behind me as well, but I don't think I recorded that. Then I moved on to the toilet area. This I think between the toilet and the shower, those are the two places I hate to clean the most. So I just spray everything and wipe down. Now, I do use these microfiber cloths and I got them on Amazon. I'll link them in the description below. They are, they're, I really love them. And the reason that I got this pack specifically is because it comes in different colors. So I use one color for the bathroom, one color for the kitchen. I'll use another color for like pet stains so that I'm not like over lapping where I'm using these rags because I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to use the same rag in the bathroom and the kitchen. Like for some reason that just doesn't work right in my head. So I, I color code them, which is why I picked these particular microfiber cloths and they work wonders. I will link them in the description below. And then once I got that done, I moved on to the shower, which was easy peasy. The only thing I will say is that the floor of our shower is actually really difficult to clean. The magic eraser sometimes works sometimes doesn't sometimes I do have to use a stronger chemical in there um, and if I do I open up all of the doors and windows and turn all the vent fans and I actually even have a, a another fan that I bring in because I don't want these chemicals just like all in the house and setting in here so I try to get them out as much as I can um, the one thing I will say <laughs> I had a time with the bathtub because we recently washed Kim and guys, let me tell you, don't ever get black mulch because it will, if it gets wet, your dog is going to track black, I guess it's dye, into your house everywhere. And it is incredibly difficult to get up. It's incredibly difficult. I mean, we literally put her in the bathtub and washed her. Washing her didn't get the black dog footprints out of the bottom of the tub. Scrubbing with cleaner did not get the black footprints out of the bottom of the tub. The magic eraser did work. So if you have never used a magic eraser, I would say you might want to give these a try. I will link them in the description below because they really can get almost anything off of almost any surface. Moral of the story here though is don't ever get black mulch. <laughs> And so just like that, in just a little over an hour, my whole bathroom is spick and span clean. Of course, I do still have the bath mats to wash and put back down, but I really, it didn't take that long. And just in the time that it would have taken me to listen to one podcast, which I normally would have done, but I was filming for you guys, the bathroom is done and it is deep cleaned and you can breathe easy and feel rested and comfortable and have a nice long shower to celebrate that your bathroom is clean. And I don't know about you, but having my home clean just makes me feel better, it makes me feel calmer, makes me feel more at ease. So that one hour it took me to clean the bathroom was well worth it. All right guys, I hope you like this video and I hope it provided some motivation for you to get out there and start spring cleaning in your home as well. Thank you again for being here with me. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, YouTube gives you a button as well. And look right down there, that subscribe button. If it's red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray. When it's gray, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video. Thanks so much for being here with me today on Home Sweet Farmhouse. I can't wait to see you in our next video.